Wake me up! Wake me up inside! I couldn't wake up! Wake me up inside! Save me! Call my name and save me from the dark! What's up, Rockers and Metalheads? Ammo here, and I'm joined with the Artie Axelman. And this is your RMTV News Update. Just so you guys know, the links to everything will be below. Evanescence have parted ways with longtime lead guitarist Terry Balsamo. Judging from a statement released by frontwoman Amy Lee, both parties are ending on good terms and after, quote, scouring the globe, the band have found a new axe wielder and it's Jen Majura. Amy says Jen plays like a supervillain and sings like an angel. May Amy be hinting here at a change in the band's dynamic? Will Jen be sharing vocal duties from now on? Only time will tell. Corey Taylor has revealed plans of a Slipknot film at some point in the future. According to number 8, he, Clown and Jim have been in discussions regarding the band's future endeavours and they want to basically make their own Purple Rain. It'll be a fair few years down the line but that would be pretty epic. In a somewhat similar story, German titans Rammstein is set to release a brand new documentary and concert film from their Madison Square Garden show. After the mysterious trailer last week, the band have confirmed the DVD Blu-ray double disc package will be released on September 25th. A crowdfunding page has been set up to help raise money to support War Beast and Rigor Mortis vocalist Bruce Corbett. He found that his heart was misfiring, causing his blood pressure to skyrocket. Heart surgery is ridiculously expensive, and the singer's health insurance only covers a portion of the costs. A lot of the metal community is showing support. If you'd like to support Bruce and his family, the link will be below. In album news, a record comprised of unreleased Kurt Cobain recordings is set to come out on November 6th to coincide with the DVD release of the Montage of Heck documentary. The music for the album was assembled from 200 hours of recordings, over 108 cassette tapes. For any kids watching, cassettes were like a really old version of Spotify that used to unravel like this, and you had to forward or rewind using your finger like this. Lamb of Gods, Mark Morton has revealed his top 5 guitar albums, and they are Led Zeppelin's Houses of the Holy, Axis Boulder's Love by the Jimi Hendrix Experience, The Allman Brothers Band at Fillmore East, Amorica by The Black Crows, and finally Trey Ombres by ZZ Top. What do you guys think of this list? Is it top 5 worthy? Let us know in the comments below. Hands Like Houses have announced their new album, Dissonance, will be out this autumn. EOV have confirmed their self-titled album will be hitting shelves on October 9th. And Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes are streaming their debut album in full ahead of its release. Disturbed are streaming their comeback album Immortalized in full ahead of its release next week. Five years on from Asylum, what do you guys think of it? Let us know in the comments. New singles and videos next. In terms of new singles, Soulfly have let loose the title track to their upcoming album Archangel, whilst Bullet For My Valentine are streaming a new bonus track titled Playing God and drop a new video for Army Of Noise. London Metalcore Quintet Counting Days have released brutal new single Liberated Sound. Children of Bodom have unleashed the title track to their upcoming album, I Worship Chaos, and Trivium have dropped new track, Blind Leading the Blind. New videos include Pop Evil's Footsteps, which has an awesome art style. Aranda have dropped a live video for Don't Wake Me, and Knuckle Puck released the Polaroid laden video for True Contrite. Iron Maiden have released a video for their first new song in five years. The track's called Speed of Light and features the band's mascot Eddie in the form of megabytes being transported to various video game genres. The ghoulish mascot ventures into the worlds of 8-bit, side-scrollers, old-school Mortal Kombat with a sweet fatality, and finally a first-person shooter with RPG elements. Saint the Sinner have a new video for Theatre of Broken Dreams, which features a bit of goth ballet. Creeper provide more goth goodness in the video for their new track, The Honeymoon Suite. And another perfect storm led by Disturbed's David Draymond's brother, Ben, unveil a lyric video for Cover. The likeness is uncanny. The final video is Crossfade's Devil Party. Some pretty cool imagery and some serious production value went into this vid. In tour news, Nickelback have been forced to cancel the remaining dates of their No Fix Address World Tour due to frontman Chad Kruger being ordered to take an extended period of vocal rest after being diagnosed with a cyst on his voice box earlier in the year. Finally, Ghost have been forced to postpone a show in Philadelphia thanks to the actual Pope. Ghost, whose frontman puppet emerges the third, dons pretty much the bizarro Pope outfit. Plan to get really creative and add their own motorcade. Sadly, we won't get to see these awesome ideas this time round. 1-0 to the Pope. And that's it for your RMTV news update. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And check out our podcast, RMTV Argue About Everything, on iTunes and rockmetaltv.com. Links below. Last episode we argued about, do fuck buddy slash friends of benefits ever work? Until next time, rock, rock on! on. You did the man bit then, yeah? Yeah. I'm Amy Lee. Alright. <laughs> Anything in my teeth? No. In your mind? No. Good. Let us begin. <laughs> <laughs> Artie Axelman? Hello. And this is your own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! You didn't tell me this bit! I'm sorry, it's been a while. Eh! Don't touch me! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Ugh.
Oh, fuck. Big fluffy donkey dick. <laughs>